we have an emulator that we announced yesterday for the pre, um, because we've got somewhere around 30,000 Pomos apps, and a lot of people wanted to bring them onto it. So how you get the emulator? It's made by a third party called Motion Apps, and I've installed the device. You just click on this classic button. It will launch, and just for me, it's the oddest thing after using this for a while that I have Palm OS back up on here. <laughs> you basically have your, your same navigation, so you use the, oh, I can launch myself calculator. You basically have your five-way controls on it. If you're on top of an application, you just click on it. It'll actually it'll launch the application. You click on your home button. Basically, they put soft keys for everything you would have on your standard device, so you can navigate it around. We have, as you're going through it, I'll just cycle through the categories. When you want to get an application to come onto the device, what you do is you just hook it up as a mass storage. You can drag the the PRC or P PDB files into a file called Classic Apps on the device, and they'll come up in our internal storage. Well, that's good, because that was a good question. I was talking mm -hmm. with some analysts this morning. They wanted mm -hmm. to know how to port the apps. Yeah, you just pull them over onto it. It drops into the... Um, basically in the folder and we'll open them up in internal. Basically what we did is we accessed the flash on the device as we would have an SD card on a Palm OS device. And the our writers and developers of those applications are okay with people porting them to a new device without having to pay for them again? Um, so they have to have the same licensing. So if you bought the, if you have a license for it, however the, those protocols are set, we're, we're staying out of the licensing of the individual applications. Okay. Um, but we do respect, and the emulator respects, that if you have a trial application, it has all of the trial capabilities and you have to register with serial numbers. But well, some of the stuff we did put on here, and one of the vendors we, we have been working with on this and talked about is Hippocrates. This is a medical application. It's used by some, one out of four doctors that have this. Um, a lot of what this does, and this is a full enterprise app, and it was really one of the key things. People spend a lot of money on enterprise applications at Palm OS that they built for their companies. We want to give them a way to migrate it on here. We think it's going to be a wonderful way to move to Web OS, but having, having it in between before you have a full app, it makes sure you can take a free day one bring it into your enterprise and use your applications. Yeah, and that's important. Yeah, I mean, and going through this, I mean, Apocrity is what you do on it. It's a lot of it's for, if I want to just look up ibuprofen, and I've got all my notifications come up. So ibuprofen, um, you actually can go through, it picks a drug on it. Well, I don't I hit the wrong one, but you can actually go through and see dosing information. You see what you do for children. Again, doctors use it just to make sure you have any information you want to have on the, about the drugs or moving through it. But again, this is a over-the-air application, so as new information comes down, they send alerts down to the device, they can update it over the air. Um, really everything you had working on a Palm OS device is working on the pre. And it's important because, I mean, that's like a $100 application. Yeah, it's, it's like 150 bucks to buy it, and you just bring it right over. And we, we worked with them, and we're really happy that every time we've been testing a lot of things on it, um, we also have a hot sync compatibility mode. We don't use hot sync on it, so that's one of the features that does not come with the emulator. Um, we don't do the tethered hot sync. So, so do contacts that are in synergy automatically show up and port into the? No, emulator? we actually. So you'd actually. You, we are not bringing the the synergy contacts currently. I don't see never, but currently it does not port over the emulator. Okay. Um, but we do allow you if you need a hot sync ID to run a program, we let you set your own hot sync ID so that again compatibility mode is enabled. Um, Things like, I mean, you've got a world clock, so you can go through and just access anything else there. So, I mean, from the emulator, the, the whole goal of it was, if you have apps, you can bring them over. Um, we definitely want you to build on WebOS. We think it's a better platform. We think it's more sure we, we can do a lot more with it, but definitely want to have you, things that you've done in the past, things you're using, and bring them over to the device. So, any questions about it? Or